بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. Today I want to share with you the concept of dreams in accordance with Islam. And it's all got to do with the soul. So I want to begin with the verse of the Quran in Surah Az-Zumar verse 42 where Allah says, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله يتوفى الأنفس حين موتها والتي لم تمت في منامها فيمسك التي قضى عليها الموت ويرسل الأخرى إلى أجل مسمى إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يتفكرون It is Allah who withholds the soul of people when they die and the one which does not die when it goes to sleep. Then he withholds the soul of the ones who have already died and returns back the soul of the one who is sleeping to its body until its appointed time has arrived. In this are many signs for people who reflect. The scholars spoke about this verse and a great scholar by the name of Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, he says in Fathul Bari, which is the explanation of Sahih al-Bukhari, he says this means, as according to Ibn Abbas, that when a person goes to sleep, the soul travels and it meets with other souls in another realm. They are the souls of people who passed away. And the people who have passed away already, they may meet your soul with a message or a guide or a news or if you miss them. And then Allah withholds the soul of the people who have passed away because they cannot come back to this world and your soul returns to your body until your appointed time. Brothers and sisters, the Prophet peace be upon him told us that there is 45 parts of prophethood and prophethood in Arabic, nubu'ah, means news. And after the Prophet peace be upon him's death, only one is left out of that 45 parts and that is a righteous dream. So people continue to see righteous dreams and would you believe it, even non-Muslims receive righteous dreams from Allah from time to time. Allah may show you a dream that has a guidance or a warning or good news or something of that nature. We're going to talk about that in a little bit of detail insha'Allah. The Prophet peace be upon him also said in the hadith which is in Ibn Majah and similar like it in Sahih Muslim and Bukhari. He says that towards the end of time, the dream of a believer and a righteous person is almost always correct and truthful and there is many of it. He also said that there are three types of dreams. So learn the difference. The first types of dreams that the Prophet peace be upon him called are the dreams of what your subconscious mind speaks to you. You might have watched a movie or read a book or something's happened in your life. It talks about your fears, your anxieties, your wishes and your hopes, even maybe somebody that you have a crush on or a love or something that you wish for. These things are your subconscious mind talking to you. They're not righteous dreams. And usually they mumble, jumble and keep going on and on and they're very long. And usually when you wake up, you don't remember much of it or you remember bits and pieces of it, but they don't really make too much sense. So this is called hadith nafs which means the conversation of the subconscious mind. The second type of dream the Prophet peace be upon him talked about are the terrifying dreams. The dreams of horror, the dreams that come from the shaitan, from Satan and the devils. And he said that these are types of dreams to make you feel sad or to give you depression or to make you fall into fear so that when you wake up you doubt yourself and you think what's wrong with me. He said don't worry about those dreams, it's the shaitan playing games with you. And we'll talk about how to get rid of these dreams inshallah very soon. The third type of dream is the righteous dream and they are the dreams that come from Allah, from God. And as I said before, they come to the Muslims and the non-Muslims. It's either a guide or a warning or good news, as the Prophet peace be upon him said. And he said, if you see a dream that you love and liked and you fell at peace with, and when you woke up, you enjoyed it and you can remember it, then tell somebody whom you love and someone with wisdom. Also ask people of knowledge, such as an Imam or a Shaykh who knows. He said, but if you saw a dream that disturbs you, or is terrifying or horrific in some way and it displeased you, don't tell anyone about it, but rather go and make wudu and pray two rak'ah and rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He also said, say a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim seek refuge in Allah from Satan the outcast. 
Brothers and sisters, when you see a dream that displeases you, such as a terrifying dream, sometimes you might see snakes, scorpions, spiders, dogs, cats, things that just don't add up, especially if it's in the dark, or faces that look horrific, such as a horror film, and things that just make your mind go all over the place. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said that if you wake up, then spit lightly three times in the direction of the left. So the left direction. You might be facing the left, or you might be facing the right in your, dream, in your sleep, or you may be facing in any direction. He said, spit three times to the left and say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem three times, then turn to the other side. It is a sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ that when you sleep, you begin sleeping on your right, because it's called the spiritual side, because your brain stays a little bit aware when you sleep on your right. As for the left, you are allowed to sleep on the left. However, it is disliked to start your sleep on the left, but medically it is better for your body. So your body naturally tosses and turns. What you shouldn't sleep on is your stomach. The Prophet, peace be upon him, saw a man sleeping on his stomach in the masjid and he nudged him lightly with his leg and said to him, don't sleep like that for the shaitan loves to sleep like that. And this is where you might see uh, disturbing dreams. On your back, for some people it works, and for some people they actually get sleep paralysis or night terrors. Don't be afraid of them. Again, it is the shaitan trying to play tricks on you, and it won't harm you in any way. A man came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he was a bit disturbed. He said to him, O Messenger of Allah, O Messenger of Allah, I saw that my head was rolling in front of me, and I was trying to pick it up. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said to him, If the shaitan plays games with you, don't tell people about it, and it won't harm you. Another thing you can do, brothers and sisters, about horrific dreams or disturbing dreams, before you go to sleep, the sunnah is to make wudu if you can. Secondly, to sleep on your right in the beginning. Number three, recite ayat al-kursi. Number four, put your palms into your mouth like this and recite the three quls. Qul huwa Allahu ahad, qul a'udhu birabbil falak, and qul a'udhu birabbil nas. Then blow into your palms if you like and wipe over your head and body three times. Insha'Allah, God willing, you'll see better dreams and will minimize any dreams that are disturbing. You can play the Qur'an next to you, such as Surat al-Baqarah, that also helps. As for the righteous dreams, the scholars said that there are a few signs to know that they're righteous. Number one, usually you remember every detail clearly. Number two, when you dream about them, you can feel as if they're real. You can almost touch and smell what's going on. Number three, when you wake up, you remember all the details because they were clear. Number four, they are usually connected to something in real life. Number five, they make sense in some way. So there is a reality to them. Number six, they do not go against the Sharia, meaning if you saw a dream where someone is telling you to do something haram or sinful, that's from the shaitan. A righteous dream doesn't come that way. And finally, tell someone you love or a sheikh or an imam who can help you interpret the dream, although we don't have a particular measure to really know what's right and wrong. But the Prophet, peace be upon him, did tell us, a dream usually happens the way you interpret it. So always think well of Allah and have, be optimistic about it. As for seeing the Prophet, peace be upon him, in your dreams, or the angels, I got this question asked, there's no harm. Yes, it is possible to see angels in your dreams with a message. As for the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. And he said, whoever sees me in their dream ha has truly seen me and will eventually see me. For the shaitan cannot impersonate the way I look. Again, the great scholar Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani explains this and he says, this means that whoever sees the Prophet in their dream, it has to be in his real, true features. The shaitan can make you believe that it is the Prophet, but he cannot look like the Prophet. So a person may come looking like ancient Arabian clothing and you probably might even hear words around you that make you feel that you're back in time. But if it doesn't look anything like the Prophet Sallallahu features, then is the shaitan trying to trick you and the shaitan may give you guidances that are wrong. So be careful and ask again, someone knowledgeable or an imam or a shaykh to tell you whether those features were true. There was a man at the time of Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu after the Prophet peace be upon him died and he said to him, I think I saw the Prophet in my dreams. And he said to him, describe him to me. And he said to him, he looks similar to his grandson Al-Hasan and he said, 
yes, then that is the Prophet. However, another scholar by the name of Ibn Sirin, who was known to interpret dreams very well, a man came to him and said, I saw the Prophet in my dreams, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, describe him to me. And when he described him, he said, these are not his features. You did not see the Prophet, peace be upon him, in your dreams. But if you do see him, this is a great sign. And even a non-Muslim can see signs from God even possibly the Prophet peace be upon him, but the meaning of that would be more of a guidance. Either the person takes it or doesn't take it. My brothers and sisters, if you do see a dream, as we said, and it terrifies you, don't tell anyone about it and don't worry about it. If you see a dream that is from Allah and righteous, tell a sheikh or an imam, but don't base your decisions in life on dreams as a priority, for we never know exactly what they mean. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.